Hey guys, Richard here with Downgrid Survival. Hey, today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product by EcoFlow. I'm talking about the EcoFlow Blade. Let's get into it. Now guys, we couldn't pick a better day to do this video because it is starting to rain out here, but no worries. The EcoFlow Blade is IPX5 rated, so it is good in, out in the rain with no problems. In fact, this unit is designed to sit outside when you, once you get it in place somewhere on your property and it just sits there until it's time to mow. Now EcoFlow says this is the industry's first automatic lawn sweeping solution because it does have an optional lawn uh, sweeping attachment that hangs off the rear of the machine and this will collect leaves and small sticks and uh, uh, debris such as that. Now one thing that I really like about the EcoFlow blade is that there is no wiring for a boundary required like other machines where you have to go around the perimeter of your lawn and install this wire in order to keep uh, the machine from going across it. You don't have to do that with the EcoFlow blade. You can program the blade right from within the EcoFlow app and map out your lawn and tell it where it can go, where it can't go, and using GPS technology, it'll follow the map that you set. Now the blade comes with EcoFlow's very own X-Vision technology, which allows it to avoid obstacles. And I can tell you it does that very well. And one thing EcoFlow did was they made this easy to use and they included an anti-theft design. So uh, it's got an eSIM in there. So if someone were to come along and steal your mower, you can easily track it and find out exactly where it's at. It has built-in rain sensors. So in the event that it starts to rain like it is today, uh, it'll automatically go back to its charging station and, and hang out there until things are over. Within the app, you can schedule your lawn mowing days and you don't even have to be home. And when it's time to cut your lawn, the EcoFlow will wake up and go and do its job. Now, setting up the EcoFlow blade was pretty easy. All we had to do is get it unboxed. We made sure to scan the QR code and download the app and follow the instructions within the app. And there is a quick start guide included in the box as well. The first step you want to do is go ahead and make sure you have all the parts that you're supposed to have within the box and then go ahead and start assembling your antenna. Once you have your antenna assembled, go ahead and connect it to the charging station as well as connect the charging station to an outlet so it all gets power. From there, you can use the app to look for a good satellite signal. You'll be prompted to move the antenna around until you get a nice strong signal and the app will tell you where you should put your antenna. Now once you have the antenna installed, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure the EcoFlow blade has a full charge. And using the app, tell it that you want to go ahead and start mapping out your property. When you start the app and start the mapping process, the blade will back away from the charging station. And from there, using the control pad in the app, you can start driving the EcoFlow blade to its starting point. At that point, you go ahead and tell it to start mapping. And you'll use the app to drive the EcoFlow blade around your property. Now what I did is I went ahead and drove it completely around my property, making one big mowing zone, uh, going from the left side of my property to the rear of the home to the right side of the property, and then circled back all the way around again to the, to the starting point. Once you've mapped out the mowing zone, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and identify any areas that you want the blade to stay away from. This would be the no-go zones. Now it now you don't need to create a no-go zone around things such as trees and, and other obstacles in the yard because it's smart technology will automatically avoid those things. But in the event that there's something that uh, maybe the EcoFlow blade te uh, sensing technology doesn't pick up on, uh, you may want to identify specifically a small zone or something where you don't want it to go to. And that's exactly what I did here in my yard because I have this uh, what's called the backflow preventer. This is a a part of the uh, the plumbing or part of the uh, the water supply and every home in Florida has one of these uh, sticking up out of the yard and it's kind of a pain in the butt but because it's kind of small and I wasn't sure if EcoFlow blade would recognize it as an obstacle I went ahead and created a no zone a no-go zone around that now once you've created your no-go zone you're ready to get started cutting from there within the app you can go ahead and schedule the days and the times that you'd like the machine to go ahead and start cutting and I was eager to go, so I had it start cutting right away. The EcoFlow blade started cutting my lawn, and it stayed within the boundary that I had set. And it uh, zigzagged its way back and forth until the entire lawn was cut. Now, the EcoFlow blade may not be perfect for all applications, so make sure you follow uh, the guidelines that EcoFlow provides. And I'll share a couple of those with you here. 
and that is the lawn cannot be more than a three quarters of an acre. Uh, the lawn must be cut down to about three inches or so in height. Anything above that uh, could exceed the capability of the mower. You want to make sure you mow your lawn in, on sunny days, not in the rain or snow. Your lawn should not have more than 20% shaded uh, by trees and, and buildings and other things. And I will add that the mower seems to work best with lawns that have a thinner grass. Uh, here in Florida, we have a very hardy, very thick bladed grass. And it tends to be a, a little taller than what it is in a lot of parts of the country because, again, the heat, the tropical environment that we live in, the grass has to be a little taller in order to survive. And it almost exceeds the capabilities of the blade. Not quite. It still operates just fine. I'm just saying that for my particular application, uh, we are really stretching the limits here. Okay guys, that's my quick introduction to the EcoFlow Blade. Now, I've only had it for a couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to really use it much, test it a whole lot, but look for future videos where I get to uh, maybe share some more information. And if you have questions about it, drop them down below, let me know, and I'll try to figure it out or try to provide you an answer if I have it already. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you click like and subscribe so you follow me and get more future videos about the blade because there's going to be more videos coming out about that. Hey, until next time, be safe.